Hey there, Adam with Sound Balance Physical Therapy, and uh, we're going to do another typing video today. I've been doing once a week typing videos, so every half an hour of practice, I've been trying to learn Dvorak at five minutes per day. And typically, I do that six days per week, so I do one video per week. But I kind of fell off the bandwagon here. Um, I was trying to update my computer and then uh, had problems and you know, life happens sometimes. Um, so I, I went a few days without typing and then got a couple days and then went a few more days without typing and then got a day and then skipped again. And uh, overall, I've been improving. Um, I've done 11 hours total now and we're going to see how I do. Odds are I drop a little since I've been inconsistent. Um, you can see I've been improving. Let me show you this line here. Um, I've been improving. I'd gotten some new records, and then I skipped a few days and uh, kind of dropped back down here. Um, my assumption is that I'll be kind of down where I'm at right here instead of a new record up where I should be breaking records, but that's what happens when you miss. So um, generally, my rule of thumb is that I don't miss twice. So if I miss a day, I don't fret too much. I don't kick myself. Um, I just don't miss twice. I just get back on the horse the next day and, and keep going. That way, at worst, I would do every other day. And for the most part, I've done fairly well. Um, you can see I started back in January, passed my first lesson really quickly, took longer to do the second lesson in red here, and then this yellow lesson. Um, I've been slogging away at it. And uh, I want to be done with this lesson and move on, but unfortunately, it's been getting the better of me. Um, my QWERTY speed here in red has also dropped, um, but my Dvorak speed has been slowly on the rise. Um, slow but steady has been winning this race. Um, but this week, uh, skipping is probably going to lose this race. I'd gotten my best time yet last week and uh, on my on my Dvorak typing. And my guess is that I will have dropped quite a bit. You can see in my lessons over here that I went from uh, up in the 16 zone um, back into the 15s here. And then I, did, I missed yesterday as well. So here's what I'm going to do. This has been pretty much my, um, my MO, my modus operandi. Um, I'm going to do a... Five, uh, one minute QWERTY test, and I'm going to do a one minute Dvorak test, and I'm going to put in my scores here. And then I'm going to do a four minute typing on my uh, lesson right here. So without further ado, I'm going to pop over and do one minute of QWERTY, um, and we'll go from there. So, here we go. like word association, I see river and I think poker. Need to stay focused. Okay, and that, um, it's kind of interesting because I haven't been practicing the Dvorak. I think that was a little bit easier, um, but I did make a lot of mistakes there. Uh, 200 CPM, that's 40 words per minute. So we'll pop over here and we'll put in 40 words per minute, which is faster than it's been. I've also gotten back to typing a little bit more at work. 
Um, and I've, I've said this in the last couple of videos, but um, I've noticed that transcribing in QWERTY has slowed down. Typing regularly in QWERTY, I think, is generally faster. And so because I only transcribe when I practice Dvorak, my brain is associated transcribing with um, Dvorak. And so when I try to do it in QWERTY, it sort of messes with my head. And that was a little bit easier today, I, I think, just because I haven't been practicing Dvorak as much. Um, generally, I, I used to think of myself as about a 60 words per minute typer. And as you can see, I was kind of up near 60, high 50s um, for two, three months of practice, um, three, almost three and a half months. And then I just sort of tanked um, right around Corona. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's that's where we're at. Let's pop back into this test. We're just going to restart. And what I'm going to do is pull this over. I normally have that already, so I apologize. Okay, and then there's my there's my keyboard, so I can cheat. Um, I still haven't practiced many of these letters. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But here we go. Uh, oop, yoy, we don't want that. Um, Windows space, I just kept hit Windows. Windows space moves me to Dvorak, and I'm rusty. Okay, and here we go. So this is gonna be the Dvorak typing one minutes. Actually, not so bad. Don't know where the W is. Blasted W again. I've actually been learning some of these letters just from the tests. Ah, come on. I don't know where Y is. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, you know, that's that wasn't that bad. Uh, 98 CPMs. Oopsie. Low in battery here. 98. Hopefully the battery holds out. Um, 98, it's not quite as fast, and of course, uh, words, eh, let me switch back, Windows space, um, equals five characters per, per word, so we're at, uh, 19.6, so that's, uh, it's not a terrible drop compared to before. So that's good. Maybe I've got a little bit of staying power. Um, so you can see my QWERTY went up, my Dvorak went down just a little bit. Um, we're at 11 hours of practice here on the right, and we're at uh, six months of practice here on the left, um, right just below 20 words per minute. Um, that's not bad considering uh, kind of a lazy week. So we'll see how my, my lesson goes here and then we'll call it a night. Um, I put all those on the wrong line. I'll fix it later. Um, no, we can fix it now. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, and now we're gonna do four minutes of tests of uh, practice here. Um, here's my practice. We're gonna do lesson three. And while that loads, we're gonna 
put up four minutes and five seconds here so I can have five seconds to switch over. Um, now this program, words per minute are full words, not um, partial words. They're, they're full words. Um, so if we get a long word, then you're a little bit slower. If you get a bunch of short words, then you're a little bit faster. There's also no punctuation or capitalization. So it's an interesting little program. Um, it's not exactly exactly what I'd like, but it, it got me started. It was it was enough to get me started. Um, when we're all through, I think I'll talk about uh, other programs that I think are useful, um, as well as what a better training program than what I'm doing would be. Um, not that this isn't working, but that uh, th there's always improvements that could be made. Um, so you can see some of those words are quite long, like spitefuler, if that's even a word. Um, but that's where we're at. And we're going to click back to Dvorak again, and we're going to go start that timer. And down below, you can see in black the letters that I know. The W keeps getting me because I haven't practiced it. The G and the Y are the main ones because X, B, J, Q, you know, they don't show up as often. Um, okay, here we go. Stopwatch four minutes. Four, three, two, one, zero. And one minute. It takes me a while to get kind of a, I don't know, in the zone, if you will. late I uh, stomach aches and I was like stomach guck, 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 guck. it's just kind of typing I wasn't really reading it I mean, if you ever get a chance to play that it's a great I think it's Russian it's where I learned it anyway um, Mongolia. It's fun. It's a great game. You need a lot of space for the table though. It's it's a it's a pool. But with a bigger pool table and smaller balls. I don't know where the heck the O is. Come on. That's really pathetic. That's what happens when you take a couple days off, though, you know, one day it's not so bad, you kind of get back in the swing of things. In the long run, it probably won't matter, but, you know, it's going to put me behind a week. Behind, behind what, you know, slower than I would have been. Hmm. The battery holds out. I do notice, though, you know, I can chat here. There's a level of automaticity that wasn't there before. Which makes me happy. I, you know, I think I'm like right on the verge. I've had a few like fast days or fast parts of a day where it almost feels just like QWERTY. Like, did I, did I switch over? Did I forget to switch over? 
One day I forgot to switch it over to lesson three. And I was a little faster. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit automatic. It takes, takes me a minute to get going and then I can go. Still not fast though. That book is sure annoying. And ads these days. I watched the Minority Report the other day. I'd never seen it. It's an old movie. And, uh... Oh, no. 